and Bespoli acknowledge that a parent in possession of a child is a want of a good school. And I believe that it was based on this philosophy that we're gathered at Rutherford College and what a gathering it has been. I am a person of great imagination, but I could have never imagined how awe-inspiring this year could have been. Oh, and was. <laughs> uh, the inspiration, the inspiration did not come from wearing fancy blazers with comfortable shoulder pads, nor did the inspiration come from writing cheesy speeches. The inspiration came from you, my fellow peers. As I reflect upon the portrait of my Rutherford years, it would be incomplete without each and every one of you, especially the Year 13 students. You have been my peers, my supporters, and my friends. Special thanks must also be given to my fellow wonderful head students, Luke, Ellie, Angus, as well as the Prefects group, who have provided the leadership lattice aiding my every move. And also, somewhat appropriately amongst the financial crisis, I am indebted to my principal, Mr. Moore, Mr. Coughlin, Ms. Martell, and Mrs. Russell, as well as all my teachers of the past and present for their continuous investment in allowing this rose to blossom. Thank you all so very much. Today will be a day to remember, but while we feast at this banquet of academic triumph, it is not the Last Supper. I remind you that those who have missed out today have the chance to correct their mistakes, and those who have gained awards today have the chance to get a second taste of success. And that is, our focus should be firmly fixed on the NCA exams in the upcoming weeks. After all, engraved under the cortico above there is one word, tohir. And that is what we're all about, striving for personal excellence. Thank you.